I would like to officially welcome everybody here. We are very, very excited to have you. I mean, thank you so much for joining. And it's a really a rare opportunity that, you know, people from all over the globe is here with us today in this virtual meeting room. It's really nice to see familiar faces. We've all been locked down for a long time. So it's nice to see your faces again. The Maldives have opened the borders on the 15th of July after being closed for tourists for about uh, nearly four months. And on the first 16 days that it has been open to the public, uh, they, they managed to receive 1,769 tourists in total. The top five countries that contributed to this number, we've got UK being the number one, USA, UAE, Germany, and Switzerland. The market share, this is how it shows, 45.4% of tourists that come to the Maldives have, co have come from th those five countries. So 14.6% is the UK and 54.6% are collectively from all other countries aside from the top five. In August, we see that the number have drastically increased, which is a really good sign. Um, the top five being our UAE, UK, USA, Spain, and Russia. And I think it really helped um, you know, for, for the search of uh, the Middle Eastern clients, UAE in, in particular, um, is because of the insurance that Emirates Airlines have given to their passengers. So UAE, again, uh, UAE, UK, USA, Spain, Russia have collectively produce 51.8% of the total market share of the August arrival. September, uh, the same top five markets have been leading in bringing in business to the Maldives with a total of now 9,538 tourists in the month of September. And it has collectively given 53.7% of the total market share of that 9,000 tourists. The reason why I'm showing this graph is that um, I know that we are trying to pivot our business to where um, you know, we will get as many bookings as possible. So for those who are you know, targeting countries that are able to travel to the Maldives and are really wanting to travel to the Maldives, so here they are. In October, as you can see, more and more flights are coming in and more and more hotels have opened. It more than double from the previous month. They have received 21,515 tourists. And as you can see, Russia is the number one source market for the Maldives, followed by UK, USA, and India, as well as France. Again, it is very obvious more than 50% of the, of the total market share are coming from the top five, while the others remain at you know, less than 50%. In November, I'm talking about uh, just the first half of November. Partial stats, stats uh, we still have Russia leading with already 4,000 uh, tourists, only half of the month and more coming. Uh, we have India, UK, Germany, and USA. So hypothetically, by the month ends, we should be looking at around over 30,000 tourists. So if we look into the total tourism growth from July to November, um, this is where we stand. And if we hypothetically have it at 32,000 by the end of November, we are already reaching around 25% of the normal capacity. Although um, the Maldives is used to having around 140,000 every month, if I'm correct, uh, it, it's still a good sign to have these 32,000 tourists right now because the average increase monthly is around 165%. So we can only be hopeful, right? And we see a really good um, increase there. And hats off to the government of the Maldives, I mean, they are able to control the situation and i would say that the maldives is naturally you know uh made for social distancing with each of the resort being in in their own special island exclusive and and safe from others so that's another thing about the country
And a lot of people, I believe, are, are really happy about that. And they choose Maldives as one of the best destination or one of the safest destinations that they could, can go to during this time. For those who are not familiar with the health and safety requirements of the Maldives, this is just a summary of it. Uh, the full information, you can always go to immigrations.gov.mv, but uh, we'll just run, down, uh, run through it very quickly. So it is mandatory for all the guests to present a negative PCR test result on arrival taken not more than 96 hours before their actual arrival to the Maldives. Um, secondly, they discourage split stays. They are required to, to have a hotel confirmation for the duration of their stay. They would allow split stays upon approval from the health ministry, but as much as possible to, to have a better contact tracing, they, they do discourage split stay. But it is still allowed to do a transit stay in one of the registered hotel facilities in the Maldives. Uh, so with the negative PCR testing, upon arrival to the Maldives, there is no mandatory uh, test. So it's just going to be the usual temperature, temperature checks and screening. And of course, wearing a mask in public places, in, in closed public uh, places is, is a must. And they have to have traveler declaration form to, to have a proper contact tracing. And of course, if anybody is seen any symptoms, then a random COVID testing is going to be available free of charge for them. Now the entry requirements for tourists have not really changed so much. It's still free, free visa on arrival for 30 days for all tourists. They just need to have a valid passport or travel document. In fact, good news because they understand it's quite difficult sometimes to renew your passport. Um, they have reduced the validity of the passport to one month from the arrival date. It used to be six months. Prepaid hotel booking has to be presented and they have to have sufficient funds to last for the intended period of stay. So that's also um, the same as before. They need to have a confirmed onward or return ticket to the home country and entry facilities to the onward destination, such as the visa. And uh, they, they are required to submit a traveler health declaration form when traveling to and from the Maldives within 24 hours prior to their travel. So it's an online thing. You just need to fill it out with the address of the hotel you're going to and then when going out. So instead of filling it out at the airport. And just the same yellow fever vaccination certificate if applicable to certain countries. And the newest one, as I have mentioned earlier, is a COVID-19 negative PCR test result. So they have to have that at least 96 hours prior to departure, and it should not be more than that. I think it's a reasonable amount of time. The next speaker, um, Naufal, he is now the director of sales of Mopinfic Resort and Spa in the Maldives. Naufal. Hello everyone. Nice to meet you. Good afternoon. Hope you are well on the Friday afternoon, right before the weekend starts. Um, I will be going through the safety precautions and what we are doing to keep your guests safe at Move and Pick. Uh, at Move and Pick Maldives, um, I think one thing Maldives when it started um, was at 15th of July when the borders opened, they allowed everyone to come to the Maldives as into the destination. But later on, uh, it got restricted to the compulsory PCR test, uh, negative test for the arrival which actually gave the assurance for the clients uh, to feel more safe when traveling to the destination itself. So at Move and Pick, um, we take this uh, very seriously for our guests to feel safe. So one thing we have done is we, we are part of all safe label certification. It's an international uh, certification we get from one of the top leaders for the world, uh, world leader for testing ins inspection and certification. So any 
where you see this bed over here, it's almost all part of the eco hotels. There it be Fairmont, Ruffles, Mercury, or Pullman, uh, or Move and Pick. If you see this bed anywhere in the world, it means we are all safe, set wide. So guests can travel free to here. One thing we have implemented is uh, all safe officer. So we have dedicated a health and safety officer available at all times to oversee procedures, procedures uh, for all uh, guests with what is uh, for what is related to hotel operation, preventive measures for guest arrival and their departure. So there will be a specific person who they can contact for any concern regarding health and safety. Next thing we do is we give hygiene and uh, safety training for all the guests on a weekly basis. So just to remind of, on what to be mindful and what is the new normal for the for the guests and for the staff as well. For arrival and departure process, um, entry to the Maldives, you need a, a 96 hours uh, test before embarking to the Maldives. And uh, online, you have to fill up a form, uh, safety declaration form, before you come in. Uh, when when we meet the guest, we uh, always greet them at a social distancing uh, safe level, providing a mask upon arrival. Hand sanitizers are also given to them at the airport. Uh, guests are advised to wear the mask to enter arrival process. Uh, we. Uh, all the, uh, all the guest luggage uh, is sanitized throughout the journey from the airport until reach of the hotel. So seat and or domestic speedboats will be thoroughly sanitized every, every time there's arrival or departure. And uh, every departure, every day, we do a disinfecting villas and suites. We ask the guests if they if they have any allergy precautions or we collect any necessary information such as this. But uh, room cleaning protocols, including extra disinfection of high touch points such as phones, door handles, um, anywhere that's more commonly touched, we uh, we take extra precautions on cleaning this area as well. And each villa suite will be kept a minimum period of 24 hours before a new guest arrives. So there's a 24 hours kept for a new guest, uh, from all guests to a new guest check-in. And we do, uh, we have removed the high touch amenities such as magazines, uh, pens, notepads from the rooms itself. So this can be available from the reception area upon request. Communal areas, um, uh, it's the same, sanitizer is kept everywhere in the resort, uh, social uh, distancing is enforced in public areas. While in the resort, guests are advised to wear the mask, they are, it's an enclosed space. So if there's a special event going on, we always uh, ask the guests to wear the mask. Fitness, uh, spa facilities, uh, we do enhanced cleaning in place for gym and spa. Capacity is limited for accommodated regulation, so we have a minimum uh, tax entry. High touch point areas regularly disinfected with uh, hand sanitizer provided in spa and gym. For diving, snorkeling, and excursions, everything is available except for the local island visits. As you know, it's uh, not allowed from uh, the government itself. But others have to be booked and booked in advance because it's a reduced space available uh, due to the COVID, COVID precautions. Restaurant and bars, uh, all artists, uh, all the staffs are required to wear the mask and gloves before serving the guest. Hand sanitizers will be available for the guest in all dining outlets. Ta table spacing is done so there is a distance between each uh, table. To comfort the uh, guest on ma uh, maintain safe environment, we always advise we provide a la carte meal option. So this is not limited to one meal or two meals. They can, if, if they are on half board or full board, they can still order as much as they want, but it's not on buffet. As you know, buffet is not safe at the current stage. All dishes, beverages will be covered while bringing and delivered to the table and removed while serving the guests. And the other one, we have removed all the menus. You can uh, scan the menus from the QR, special QR code, or we provide a iPad uh, on the request. 
and we ask always practice physical distancing at least six feet while in restaurant and shared spaces. Departure from the resort, it's uh, contactless uh, check-in, check-out, payments carried out whenever possible. So it's either online payment or we can we, we collect the card and we charge the card uh, at, at their doorstep uh, from the villa. A uh, room key should be dropped in a box at the reception. Uh, should the guest require a test, if, the, if they require a test before departure, we can arrange it at the resort. Our doctor will collect the sample and send it to Mali and it will be given to them 48 hours uh, prior to their departure. So our staff will collect the sample from uh, Mali Hospital and give it to the guest. So first of the PCR test or relevant uh, related course regarding this must be borne by the guest. On arrival uh, to the airport, our airport representative will meet, the, meet and guide the guests to the departure launch. Upon return to their home country, uh, should any guest keep up, uh, test positive for the COVID within 14 days, they have to notify the resort or the travel agency so we can uh, take extra precautions within the resort as well. 